Morning, brother. One of the Mediterranean Triangle Club was set up in 1993 by a group of uh, soldiers that were in the local regiment and they decided to set up an, their own club. We have about, at the moment, about 45 members and usually for competitions in between 22 and 25 members you attend. There's a lot of fishermen in Gibraltar. There's maybe a hundred, a hundred people that fish from shore in clubs, and then maybe there's 40 or 50 that fish from boat. We try to attract new members, and our club strives on uh, showing them the tricks of the trade because obviously it's totally different. Um, when you're fishing for pleasure and you're fishing on competition. You have to catch fish, if not, you don't win. We have the group of 10 top anglers who are very competitive and they usually come out in the top 10. The rest basically depends on the year, how many times you come. But the top 5, 10 is usually constant. The, the people that are there are usually the same people and obviously the, the Dalis, the three of them, are usually in the top 5. When we were young, uh, our dad um, used to love fishing, so he used to take us as well fishing. My mom used to go crazy with my dad because we were very young. We used to sit at the um, edge, edge of the moon. The edge of the moon. Yeah. And uh, we used to say, Francis, the, the Romano. Every, every time after the fishing, we used to come up to the actual uh, balcony over here. We used to put all the fishes uh, in, the, in, the, in the trays that we had and we used to take the photos of the three, always, always. That was uh, the, the, best, the best part, we used to come and take the photos. The photographs. The photographs. Yeah. And I remember, I remember Trevor, obviously he's been the, he, him being the old one, the oldest of, of us all. He used to get the fish and used to put his arms like really extended <laughs> and, uh, and you could see the fish was like massive you know his body was too small and his and his fingers were like massive compared to his to his to his body yeah. it was like really funny the guilted brim he caught uh. <laughs> Everything was all about fishing, everything was to do with fishing. Every day was just thinking, ah, we're gonna go here, no, let's try there. You do get hooked on it, like, so easy. Just before we joined the, the fishing club, I remember that I was so hooked on fishing that I was actually um, studying in the, in the college, just here, locally in Gibraltar. And um, I used to, like, miss weeks and weeks, one after the other, of school, just going and fishing and fishing and fishing that, I mean, it was taking over everything, you know? So that's where we, it all set off, where my dad started showing us different kinds of fishing and we've taken it from there basically and taken it perhaps to another level. Quite lucky. A good 90-95% of the anglers today can fish um, towards Algeciras and towards the towards Gibraltar. Um, I've got a good peg with my partner uh, Robert today. We've got number two and number five. The good thing about it is we don't have to walk that much. That's the best thing. <laughs> that's a bonus. And to be honest with you, there was a big barge there that's been there for about a year or so, and it's been moved away about a month. So. That, that's going to be a good spot to fish, to be honest. So let's hope we are lucky and we have a good day fishing today. This is part of the bait. Live langotino, gambarone, live concha fina. Mapilagos. 
the crabs, the green, the black crabs, different types of worms, concha, quite, quite a big selection, cheese as well. So you have a big selection of things depending on what is the fish you need to tackle and what is the fish which is eating at that, uh, that time. Here's, there's an advantage, depending on the conditions. On that day, the conditions were not ideal for fishing from the outside, and Dylan had a problem because he couldn't fish the inside. And obviously, if there weren't any fish on the outside, it was difficult. But obviously, if you put the effort into it, you do get it. But the preferable thing, and on either side, on the south or the north, those are the best. That's why we have a rule in the club that once you fish from the north or south, once you cannot fish again for that year. Just uh, got down off the boat um, on the detached mole, and uh, as you can see, I've got uh, on my back uh, a boat, which obviously doesn't let me fish uh, on this side. Sometimes uh, you have um, stronger currents on the outside, and it's best always to fish on the inside. But today I haven't got uh, much of a choice, so I can only fish on um, the outside. And uh, I mean, both of my brothers have had uh, better luck on the on the draw. They've got actually a peg which they can fish on on both sides. I mean, it's a very difficult one for me. Um, I'm actually defending the league. I'm first in the league as we speak. Uh, and hopefully today uh, I can get uh, some some decent fish, and I can keep up uh, the first position. Very happy. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's a spot that I really like, and especially as, as I said before, um, most of the anglers can fish um, on the inside of the mole, which is good news because lately the fish has been caught uh, mostly casting inside. So hopefully today there's quite a bit of fish in front of me, and I can catch quite a good, quite a good number of them. And Trevor's got a good spot as well. Hey, na, Evita. Fishing club, the results is a bit uh, critical because <laughs> um, Trevor last year came first. He he actually won the league. I've been um, two years running, coming second. So obviously, this third year is, is is my year, you know. <laughs> I have to win it, you know. And uh, you know, I've got Trevor very very strong <laughs> behind me. Although we fish the same, we, we, we might use different tactics on that, on that same day. 
There's other anglers in our club which are very, very good and they fish to a very, very high standard. We've learned a lot from them, but obviously everybody wants to win. It's a competition and everyone wants to win. But if my brother wins, I'm happy for him. If someone else wins, we are all happy for that person. There's no bad rivalry in, in between us. Everyone helps each other out. Yeah, not only as brothers, you know, but in between the club. And I would say that everyone in the club would say the same. With the, with the galera, Anthony. Yeah. Ay, va, ni ahí que más. No vea cómo ha tirado a 15 Haven, pero. ¡Hombre! I started with two rods casting far away. One with a hard bait, a crab, a whole crab, trying to look for something big. And then on the second rod, I've got uh, something more soft. Soft bait, uh, worm, I've got the Americana worm, which obviously every fish will bite on, so I've got uh, two selections at the same time. Now we are, we, here we are hooked on one. <laughs> 